This conference will now be recorded. Welcome to my integration tutorial. So on this integration session, we'll understand what is the meaning of integration and uh, what kind of integration we can build in Salesforce. So when I say integration, what does it mean? Okay, so uh, how I am going to integrate different systems and what are the different mechanism of integration which we need to see. So, okay, so whenever I want to say integration, it's nothing but in a simple language I can say, I'm just going to communicate between two different systems. So if I if I talk in non-technically, let's I'm a person and you are a person. I want to communicate with you. So if I want to communicate in a sense, I will speak something and you will listen it and you will give a response to me. So that is nothing but a communication happens between you and me in the both directions. Same way in system wise, if I have two different system, okay, or maybe two different application, then how they are going to communicate each other and what kind of communication may happen. So now whenever you see integration, it's nothing but simply communicating between two systems. So the both the systems should be able to talk each other, should be able to exchange some information, or should be should be able to exchange some kind of logic. So how all these things are going to happen? So we usually communicate between two different systems uh, for the user interface, which is nothing but we call as user interface integration. I will talk in more detail what is it, and two different system can communicate each other for business logic synchronization or business business logic integration or two different system can communicate for the data synchronization or data integration so they can exchange or pass the data from one system to another system or two systems are relies on the security integrations so we have to see when I'm talking about integration. So what kind of integration it is and how I am going to build security integration between two system, how I am going to build UI integration between two system or how I am going to build logic integration between two system or how I am going to build data integration between two system. So overall integration nothing but communicating between two systems for the security or for UI nothing but your user interface or logic or data integration so let's see in more detail what all these for different kind of integration and how we are going to do in salesforce so what kind of integration these are but to understand that when somebody say user interface integration what it mean so simply we can say uh, let's consider one I'll, I'll i'll tell you one example which give you more clarity about it let's consider you have a salesforce application here now uh, you have developed another application uh, for your lms or something okay or maybe some financial cloud you have uh, developed some applications and you want that applications to be accessible in salesforce so uh, without making a more redesign of your app okay you want that application to be accessible inside in the salesforce so the user interface whatever you have in this lms application or your financial cloud applications that you want to integrate in your salesforce to open it up so what we can do we can integrate third party application in salesforce using canvas so this canvas how we are going to do i will tell in the end okay just to make you understand what is the meaning of user interface integration so if you have any third party application which you can integrate in salesforce we can use canvas we can integrate and we can so instead of redeveloping or redesigning the complete application simply i can bring that application to here so nothing but we can surface various application inside salesforce with little redesign of each individual app i may have different different applications already hosted which i can integrate in salesforce a user interface directly here so whenever you want that kind of thing we can go for user interface integration which is nothing but you can see i have another app that app i can integrate in salesforce 
using my ui integration concept and to achieve this we have something called canvas we will use canvas to integrate my third party application in salesforce we'll, we'll show you that how we are going to do it same way you see there is something called business logic integration and data integration and security integration what all these things are when i say security integration what does it mean so uh security integration is nothing but it will identify who am i nothing but it will provide the identity provider or it will act as an authorization provider so for example i have uh, one application here let's uh, consider this is my lms application or any application you can consider okay and now here i have my salesforce now when i want to log into lms i need my username password or some authentications so now instead of providing my username and password to authenticate my lms application or my salesforce application relies on some errors like my lms application can depend on SF. if my SF authenticate the user with this username and password then without doing re-authentication here i can allow that user to access this application so to check the authentication or to check the security i'm integrating with another application or another system to authenticate the user to access this application so nothing but if you have heard the concept of single sign-on social sign-on that all nothing but it's a security layer integration so salesforce can be an identity identity provider or authorization provider to uh, identify some user in some other system to access it so it act as a act as a security integration layer so where the security are integrated or the user's authentication mechanism are integrated between two systems so whenever that kind of thing you do it's nothing but talks about security integrations we'll see how we are doing this single signer or social sign in in the in this session also so for your understanding we'll discuss all these things how i am going to do user interface integration how i am going to do security integrations same way we have something called business logic integration so just think i have a common system or i have some complex business logic to process that i can i can keep that business logic in one server okay so business logic is spread across several applications to implement the end-to-end -end business process okay for example let's i have an application where i want to implement e-signature so if i i, I have some uh, quotation documents that quotation document i want uh, my customer need to sign and uh, digitally and send to me so for that i may business logic of e-signature process or uh, uh, digital digital signature process to sign my documents so that business logic i may i may have in somewhere else like for example i may use one third party product like docusign or for example i have uh, one process whenever i own an opportunity i want to send sms to my vendor for example okay or whenever a new order being placed i want to send sms to my vendor okay to make ready for this order so for that that business logic to sending the sms okay or uh, if somebody replying the sms if i want to do something so that kind of thing when i want i may think to use my sms country okay so sms country nothing but it's a complete business process which you have okay our business logic the logic of sending the sms logic of setting the document for uh, digital signature all these things so whenever i want to do this business logic integration so how we can do it so nothing but the business logic is spread across several applications to implement your end-to-end -end functionality so for example you may have some third-party applications or product like docusign sms country and some logic we may have which we may host in some other platform or some other services which you can access it so to do that what we can do 
we can integrate the system to assess the business logic and implement it so whenever that kind of integration you see that basically we call as business logic integrations so basically there is something called soap and rest which i'll talk in detail so we'll use that to integrate uh, for my business logic integration also okay same way what about data integration as initially i said i have uh, user interface integration i have business logic integration i have data integration and security integration so let's see what is the meaning of data integrations so when i say data integration nothing but i'm exchanging data between two application or two system so if you want to synchronize your data between two different systems that kind of integration we call as data integration so for example in a client i have some data i want to pass to server i can pass it and from server i can request some data to be access to my client that we can do so we can do the data synchronization using my data integration so to did to do this data synchronization we can use my soap or rest which i'll talk in more detail or we can use many third party tool or you can say middleware tool like informatica cloud dell Bumi. so like this many many middle layer or middle wire tools we have which we can use to synchronize my data between client and server or we can write we can write our soap or rest services to implement it so overall whenever somebody talk about integration simply we can say integration nothing but communicating between different systems for user interface integration or your business logic integration or your data integration or your security integrations and to implement each into each type of integration we have different different approach maybe you for user interface you can use canvas for business logic we may use soap or rest for data integration we may use soap or rest for security integrations we may go for single sign on which we would get identity provider or many things so we'll see all over these things how i am going to integrate salesforce with different platform maybe salesforce to another salesforce or salesforce to some non salesforce so stay tuned in next session we'll discuss in more detail about the integration mechanism and who, how we are going to approach each one by one thank you